Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am at work screening, of course. Um, no, still have not washed my hair. Um, I will get to that when I have a moment off to do that. But I wanted to get on and have a quick little um, story time about why you have to advocate for your children. Um, so, being a mom of five, I advocate for my children a lot. Um, and I say that because most people um, will try to disregard what your child is feeling. Um, so it's important for you to speak up, especially if your child um, can't really verbalize what they're feeling. Um, a lot of the times if you have a special needs child or um, a, a young child, they can't really tell you what's going on. Um, and so being a parent, you have to advocate for your child. Um, so about five years ago, um, my baby, well, we had a wooden crib for her. You know, they, like they, they make wooden cribs that you put together that's made from wood, real wood. Um, but I got a crib for her. So, um... We got the crib situated, put up, and um, she had this really nasty habit of like um, kind of wiggling the crib, and um, she wiggled it so much to where the, not the bottom of the crib, but like pieces in the middle would kind of like splinter off, and um, I'm one of those moms that if it doesn't look normal or it's not something that I'm used to being on my child, I will investigate it. Um, but I'm looking at her hands. I noticed that every time I touch her hand, um, she kind of whimpers or cries or kind of yanks back. And she's a little bit over one and all she can tell me is ow. So, um, you know, I'm looking at her thumb, and I notices, I notice because I'm doing like a comparison of her thumb. I'll put that picture here. I'm doing a comparison of her thumb, um, and I see that it's significantly larger than her opposite thumb. So I tell my husband, babe, we have to take her to the emergency room. I'm not sure what's going on with her finger. I think she might have something lodged in there. Um, so we need to get her checked out. So we take her to the emergency department. And um, the ner the doctor comes in and sees her, um, and he says, "Oh, it looks like she has some an infection. Um, we'll just recommend we'll give her some antibiotics and just um, soak her hand in salt water um, and just extract the pus." And I'm like, "No, there's there's something in her finger, physically something in her finger." So, um, I'm still advocating for my baby. I'm letting the doctors know something isn't right. Um, you have to check her finger out. Something's not right. There's something in her finger. Um, they're like, well, there's nothing wrong. Um, she, and, you know, they just, they're adamant that there's nothing in her finger and they bring her home. Well, they, they discharge her to come home. So, we get home. And me still in mommy mode because, you know, at this one I just had two ba three babies. Um, this was my middle child at my middle child at the time. Um, and no one is going to speak up for her babies. I mean, you know what I mean? Like no one's gonna speak up for her babies harder than a mother. Um, so I was still adamant that something was wrong with my baby. I take my phone. I flip it on flashlight mode, and I hold her finger over the light, and I can see a stick, like stick about this long in her finger. Just like if you ever put your finger on a light when you were a kid, or you could do that now, like put your phone on flashlight mode, put your finger over, you can see straight through your finger. You can't see your bone or anything like that in your fingertip 
but you can see like red fleshy muscle like you can see straight through it and I can see a black wood stick just black in her finger like lodged in her finger then it was kind of lodged on the side um, if you saw the picture that I posted I'll post that picture again with the finger comparison you can see like a little black spot there was no openings over there so I think it was kind of lodged like in the crevice between the nail and the nail bed or in the side of the nail um, but I um, pulled out my little kit that I had it's called tweezers and alcohol and safety pin I cleaned everything off with alcohol and let it dry um, I cleaned my baby's finger off and I took the safety pin and I lightly picked at it picked at it picked at it just like how you would get a splinter out of you know a finger hand a foot wherever a, fi a splinter may be lodged I just lightly picked at it 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 and then it started to come to a little tail um, and I pulled and the piece broke off but it was still enough of the tail left to where I pulled it out and of course once I pulled the tail out all this pus gushed out of it I'm gonna insert a picture here of what I pulled out of my child's finger because the doctor was adamant that there was nothing in her finger um, so this is what was taken out of my daughter's, my daughter's finger but um, yeah that's that's what I pulled out of her finger um, immediately after the pus and everything else came out uh, I made a little salt water bath for her hand just like made it in a bowl submerged her hand in it um, I work in a hospital I've always worked in a hospital except for like maybe when I was like in, in my teens and um, for like a, a quick little moment where I worked in a nursing home but I've always been in the healthcare field um, so I knew what to do as far as cleaning out the area and things like that um, and you know keeping an eye on it to make sure no further infections started I got her on the antibiotics that the doctor prescribed um, get the pus out of her fingers like I said I did the salt water bath um, her finger looked like this after getting the splinter out of it and it wasn't a thin splinter it was a rather thick splinter like can you see that it was a thick splinter like usually splinters are like thin like a hair but this was it had some some size to it um, but her finger looked a lot better after I got it out and kept it clean and got her on antibiotics to um, get rid of that infection that was going on in her finger um, but if I just would have listened to the doctor and went on there was nothing wrong with her finger there was nothing in her finger and just gave her antibiotics she could have possibly kept this piece of wood this chunk of wood in her finger for you know the duration of her life um, she'll be seven in January um, and her fingers look absolutely beautiful and healthy no more incidences like that um, but regardless of you know how irritating we may be towards healthcare providers we should always advocate for our children especially if they can't speak up for themselves we should speak up for our kids and let people you know the appropriate people know when something is not right or you know something is wrong with our child speak up for your child that's your job as a parent you speak up for your child you stand up for your child um, but that is my story time like I said quick story time um, and that is all I have to share um, but thanks for watching please be sure to like subscribe and hit that bell 
for more story times like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.